Hi, I'm Daryl Webster for smartstuff.co.nz and we're taking a quick look at the on-ramp sign-up tool. Just going to create a new report. Okay, so I'm just going to go through some of the basic choices that are available at the moment. Some of them are quite obvious. We'll just choose a few of the services and find out what's available. Now just to um, show you the potential of how many questions you might have to answer, we'll look at the ADFS option and you see there on the on the right hand side there's a indication of how difficult that might be you might need an IT professional to assist you we'll look at the 2010 hybrid setup and we'll sign up for a trial too so it does give you a little warning about um, that it's going to be a slightly difficult scenario to deploy so it does suggest in this link here where to find an expert takes you through to the uh, the pinpoint where you can get to the different businesses. But I'm an IT professional, so I'm going to have a quick look at all the options. So we get a nice indication of the progress throughout the questionnaire, and you can add comments to it, uh, notes that might benefit you. Uh, perhaps in the future, it may be notes to a technician at Office 365 that might customise the implementation so what we found too is that you can click through to different levels and different categories of the questionnaire you don't have to stick with the, the linear fashion of answering those questions or you can see all the questions in one hit and as an indication of how many questions you'll have to answer for the more complicated scenarios, there's 137 questions for a ADFS with hybrid exchange deployment scenario. Quite a many. But you could grab a copy of those questions and perhaps um, work through those with your client before you um, fill this in on their behalf. Now you can save your progress as you're working your way through. It's nice that it saves it as an XML file. And we saw earlier when I started the uh, questionnaire that you can submit that file by saying that you want to continue to continue with the, the on-ramp progress. Now here's a nice report of some suggestions and, and your migration readiness. Obviously there'll be more detail there if you take the time to fill that out. Just have a look at what Learn More takes us to. A nice Technic article that explains a bit more about the different things that we need to do to plan the service. You can read through that. If we just go back to the start, I'll just give you an indication of how quick the process would be if you just chose a simple deployment scenario being that you're just deploying Office 365 you're just going to use the cloud identity and you click through with just some basic choices so it is quite a quick process just choosing all the features again you see on the right hand side that the setup is easy only one green bar rather than three red we'll manage the identities in the cloud that still stays as a simple or easy setup. Interesting here that considering it as a, a cutover migration it's still considered a, an easy setup that might be a step that well certainly a, a step that the average person won't be able to work their way through a cutover migration. Here's just a quick look at the XML file. Lots of potential there to use that. Now obviously this part won't work because it's the tool is tailored for the new Office 365 to be released so we get taken through to the home page of the current Office 365 sign up page. But there'll be some exciting things happening there I'm sure. Uh, one can only assume that it'll just take you to a sign up page to complete the sign up process and um, you know put in other business details and the like.
So this is the process of being able to continue and upload that XML file wherever you've loaded it. So that's my quick review of the on-ramp service. And um, we'll see more later as uh, official announcements.